Up until now, it's only been possible to self-publish paperback books on Amazon via the KDP platform. And I say up until now, because now it's possible to publish hardback books, which is very exciting, particularly if there are certain books that you want to publish in hardback version. And it may be journals, diaries, planners, your fiction or non-fiction book. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your own hardback book to publish on Amazon. And in this part one video, we're gonna go over how to create the cover and get the interior. And then in part two to this video, I'll show you how to put it all together with the title, description, the pricing, and upload it to Amazon. And then you can become an author or publisher. And this would also be useful if you've already published books on the Amazon KDP platform. Now, if you've not been to this channel before, then welcome. My name is Paul Miles, and I do videos on how to make it, to keep it and grow it. And that's your money I'm talking about. And if you do like videos like that, then please do give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, smash that notification bell to receive notification of when I produce more videos like this. So this was exciting news when on the Amazon KDP platform, they enabled this section here, which is the upload of hardcover books. And these books have what is known as a case laminate cover, which is just a plain hardback cover, but it doesn't have that soft paper uh, dust jacket, if you like. So this was quite a big move and a step up from just being able to publish paperback books. Now, when creating your books, you first of all have got to decide on what type of book uh, you want to create. Now, this may be a non-fiction or fiction book that you've already written and had formatted, or it could be things like puzzle books, planners, diaries, logbooks. But in today's example, I'm going to show you a basic, what we call a blank line journal or notebook, which is a very simple uh, book to create and is especially useful if you're just starting out in this business, because I say they're very easy to create but you can apply what I'm going to show you today to any type of book that you want. Now, when it comes to publishing books, the initial step is getting the interior. That's the contents within the book and it's creating the cover. Those are the two main components of a book, the cover and the interior. Now, when it comes to the, the interior and publishing in hardback version, there are five five trim sizes you can choose from. And today's book is going to be a six by nine inch book. Then we have to decide on the number of pages in our book. And most books, when it comes to things like log books, journals, notebooks, planners, they tend to be 120 pages. But the page number may vary depending on, on the type of book you produce. Things like coloring books will usually have less pages. Things like nonfiction and fiction will have more pages. But the page numbers of a hardback book have to be somewhere between 75 to 550. Now, when I first started in this business, there were no resources to get in interiors to these types of books, and you had to make your own. And using PowerPoint or Keynote, you get a blank page, draw the lines, and then copy and paste that page 120 times, then download it as a PDF, and you'd have your interior. Now it's a lot easier. In fact, I've got a, a Gumroad shop, and there is a lined paper interior, which is 120 pages, six by nine inches, and that's absolutely free. So you can just go along there and download that, and you've got your interior straight away, ready to upload to the KDP platform and create your line journal. But if you wanted to create something different, you have some other options now. One of these options is Creative Fabrica, which is one of my go-to sites for, for graphics and interiors and also fonts. I'll leave a link to it down below. I think they're running a special offer at the moment, um, $1 for the first month. And here I've just put in a general search for KDP interior, and you can see there are over 46,000 results. So you've got a lot of interiors to choose from. And you could narrow down your search by putting in something like, you know, recipe planner, handwriting book, coloring book, whatever you want to create your book on. And a lot of these interiors 
are downloadable as an in PDF format and again are ready to upload straight away to the Amazon KDP platform. The other option to get some free interiors is also BookBolt at bookbolt.io. You can just click on resources, go to interior wizard, scroll down a bit, click on interior wizard. And here you have a lot of different interiors that you can download for free. It's a case of clicking on one, putting in the size of your trim, six by nine, putting in your page count, 120, download. You've got your PDF again, ready to upload to the, the platform. So that's quite simple when it comes to the interior. Obviously, if you are creating a fiction or non-fiction book, you're going to have to have it all formatted correctly. So the next stage when we're creating our book is the cover. Now the cover is going to be created from a template. And this template includes the back cover, the front cover and the spine down the middle and we need to get this at the correct size. KDP have made this very simple for us because they've created this new cover, a calculator and template form. And all you need to do is select your binding type. So we select hard, hard cover, interior type. Now most are black and white unless you want to create a color interior. However, I do warn you, if you do create a cover interior, the print costs are going to be a lot higher which may then cause issues with your pricing. You may end up pricing it too high and pricing yourself out of the market. So most books, no, no content books and low content books will be in black and white. Now paper type, I normally just choose white paper. Page turn direction for normal books is left to right. Measurement units, we're gonna be working in inches. Interior trim size, six by nine inches. And the page count, as we've mentioned, is 120. We can click on calculate dimensions and then click on download template. And when we've downloaded our template, this is what it will look like. Now, the background of the book has to go to the edge of this pink border, which is called the bleed area. And any content that you don't want to lose, any important content, such as the title of the book, any particular graphics, has to be within this pink margin. Anything outside or in this pink margin does risk getting cut off. So all important content should be within this um, white area. And the same goes for any um, title that you write down the spine here. Now the important data we want from this is this here, which is the overall dimensions, which is going to be the overall size of our template. So we're gonna make a note of this here, which is 14.034 inches by 10.417 inches. Now, in order to create our cover, we're going to be doing this in Canva and you can sign up for free on Canva, get your free account. And the reason we're using this is because it's accessible to most people via the internet. It's free of charge and it's a very simple way of creating a basic book cover. When you do get more advanced and want to try new things, you can then go on to use things like Adobe Illustrator or Affinity Designer, which is what I use, or software like Gravit Designer or Inkscape. So now we've got the dimensions for our template cover. We go over to Canva and here in the top right hand corner, we click on custom size. Now this step is important because a lot of people make a mistake here straight away. And that's the units. Here it says PX for pixels. We want to change that to inches. If you don't change it, you'll end up creating your cover. And when you try to upload it, it will come out all wrong on the platform. So in here, we put in the size of our cover and click on create new design and it will give us our blank template from which we're going to work. Now what we need to do is just click on the upload box there on the left hand side and we want to upload that template to the Canva platform. So just find where you've downloaded it on your computer and you want to upload the .png version. So just drag that across. I've already done this once, but we'll do it again. And we can click on that or just drag it across and we'll move that into the top left corner. It will click into place and we drag that down to the bottom right hand corner and we want to lock that into place. So just click on the, the lock top right hand corner. Next is we want the background for our cover. Now you could do this simply by clicking on elements, clicking on the square shape and just moving that to the top corner and just dragging into position like so and changing the color to whatever you like. But 
I want something slightly different. So I'm just going to delete that and I'm going to go back over to Canva. Now on Canva, I went to the graphics menu and clicked on backgrounds. And here we have a variety of different backgrounds we can use. And I quite like the look of this old vintage style background. So I'll go ahead and click on that and download it. Now you'll notice here it says commercial and full POD usage allowed. POD stands for print on demand. So it means that you can use these graphical elements in books that are print on demand. So you've got the full license to do that, which is important. So go ahead and click on download. Then we'll go back to Canva, click on the upload tab again. And from where I downloaded the background, I'm just going to drag that across into our upload file again. And you can see here, I've already done that. So I'm just going to, before it downloads, go ahead and click on that. So now what we can do, keeping that in the center, just drag to the top, then just enlarge it by dragging down, drag to the right, drag to the left. And that will make sure that this is all in the center. And we want to make this a bit transparent. So click here, top right hand corner on transparency and reduce that to around about say 50%. And that is so that we can see our template underneath and make sure that our content that we want to keep is within this area. Now, first of all, we want a title. So we're going to go to text and you've got all these different texts that you can choose from. And these are all free. Now, as a side note, when using elements from Canva, I would suggest making sure you make yourself familiar with the licensing agreement. And here you have the basics and the free content licenses. You can upgrade on Canva to the pro version and, and that gives you extra licenses if you like. But for the free versions, it's all explained here. Now, a lot of people do ask me about licensing and can I use this, can I use that? Unfortunately, I'm not a trademark or copyright lawyer or licensing lawyer. So I wouldn't take my advice as a legal advice anyway, but it's something that you do need to make yourself familiar with. But most of the free content here, you can use to create your books. So we're going to use this font here. So I'm just going to click on it and I want to get rid of this bit at the top here where it says happy. So I'm just going to delete that. And I'm just going to drag that across, make it a bit smaller. And this is going to be a travel journal. Now, holding down option, left click on my mouse, I can drag that above, which will create a copy. Don't double click on that, click on the bottom section, write in journal. And then I'm going to move this just across like so. Shift, click on both of them, just reduce the size slightly and move that to around about here. When I'm positioning text on a book cover, I tend to divide the book into thirds and have the title either along the line of the bottom third or along the line of the top third. It just tends to be a bit more visually uh, appealing. Now, we want some graphical elements on this. Now, on Canva, you've got these free graphical elements available and click on see all and you can see what's available here. Anything with a crown like this one here is only available in the pro version, but the others are available in the free version. And to get information on each graphical element, you can click on the three dots like so, and it will give you a, a bit of information about the licensing for a particular uh, graphical element. And you can just click on those, drag them across, change the size, rotate it, etc. But I want something a bit more fancier. So I'm going to go back to Creative Fabrica. And this time I put in travel and I like the look of these travel sketches clip art. So I went ahead and downloaded those. I'm going to go back to my travel journal cover, go to where I've downloaded my graphical elements and again drag a few of these into the upload box. And it's very simple. You just drag across and it will find itself into the upload section. And then when you've done that, it's just a case of clicking on them like so, and then just changing the size, moving it into the position that you like. So we're gonna have this aeroplane here, move that like so, and have this balloon, I'm going to move into place down here, suitcase. Again, I'm doing this very quick. You'll probably want to spend a bit more time than what I'm doing. And we'll have this picture of a camera here. And I think this will make, you know, decent sort of cover like so. Now, if we click away from our graphics, click on the 
ba uh, background that we downloaded, go to the transparency box at the top and just increase the transparency. And there you can now see that we have our cover for our travel journal. Now the next thing is we need to download this as a PDF file, which will then be ready to upload to Amazon. Now in order to do that, top right hand corner, click on download and we want to choose PDF. And you have two options here, PDF standard, PDF print, click on PDF print. This is the high quality version, which is what we want. And you just click on download. That will download the PDF version of the cover that we've created, which will be ready to upload to the Amazon platform. And then in part two to this video, I'll show you how to take this cover, take the interior, put it together with all the other elements and upload it to the KDP platform. And then you'll become your, your own self-published author or, or publisher. Now, when that video is published, I'll leave a link to it up here. In the meantime, you might want to check out the book tutorial playlist that I've got down here, which goes through other aspects of publishing books in more detail. So thank you very much for your time. It's very much appreciated. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on. And until next time, goodbye.